But Mr. Speaker, people do not have roofs over their head. After eight years of this Prime Minister, housing costs have doubled. Toronto is the worst housing bubble in the world, and Canada has the worst mortgage bubble uh, in the entire OECD after eight years of his policies. That's why nearly four million people on X alone have watched my groundbreaking and much acclaimed documentary, Housing Hell, How We Got Here and How We Will Get Out. Will the Prime Minister become the four millionth Canadian to watch this documentary so he can see a common sense plan to reverse the housing hell that he's caused? Canadians need our bold action to keep moving forward on the problem of housing affordability. Unlike the Conservative leader, we know that the federal government plays an essential role in uh, leadership in housing. On this side, we're making historic investments in housing, we're linking public transit dollars to housing density, and we're working with cities to modernize and accelerate the way we build homes. While the Conservative leader focuses on clickbaits and views, we're focused on building homes for Canadians. Well, Mr. Speaker, it's funny, he released a video the very same day of him in a starter home pretending that he was a real estate agent, but in reality everyone laughed because they know that he's doubled the housing cost. Right. He mean, he's delivered an economy where we have the fewest homes per capita of any country in the G7, even though we have the most land to build on. And Toronto is the now the worst housing bubble in the world after eight years of this Prime Minister. So that's why I'm putting partisanship aside and offering the Prime Minister and the Liberal Caucus a private screening of my documentary. Will the Prime Minister put his ego aside and join with me personally to take in this documentary, Housing Hell, How We Got In and How We Get Out of It? Mr. Speaker, as the Conservative leader continues to call for the federal government to get out of the business of housing. And we will not repeat the same mistakes he made when he was housing minister under Stephen Harper. The Conservative leader's present plan won't build enough homes fast enough, doesn't reach enough cities, and creates unnecessary red tape. He'd also defund affordable housing projects and tax affordable rental construction even more. While the Conservative leader focuses on clickbait and views, we're going to focus on building Canadians more homes. did try to make a video. It was a total failure. His videos don't get clicks and his houses don't have bricks. (laughs) After eight years, that's why housing costs have doubled. He shouldn't have to read his entire answer. I'm offering to inform him. If he would just take 15 minutes away from his photo ops, he can watch my brilliant documentary on X or YouTube with a common sense plan to require cities permit 15% more homes, give them bonuses if they exceed the target, require transit around every new federally funded, require housing around every federally funded transit station and sell off 6,000 buildings. This is common sense. Let's bring it home. The Conservative leader's plan is to pick fights with municipalities to create more red tape and to withdraw funding for affordable housing and affordable apartments. That's not a plan to build more housing. But he has demonstrated that he's extremely satisfied with his ability uh, to spread misinformation and disinformation online, which, yes, I will admit, he's very good at. On this side of the House, Mr. Speaker, we're focused on delivering solutions for Canadians. We're focused on building more housing for Canadians, not focused on self-aggrandizement like the leader of the opposition. Mr. Speaker, he is the king of self-aggrandizement, as evidenced by the fact that he's knocking my much-acclaimed documentary when he claims he hasn't even watched it. How would he know about the the common-sense solutions if he hasn't had the attention span to sit there for 15 minutes on YouTube or X and watch it, Mr. Speaker? We'll even try to get it on TikTok so that he can find it. (laughs) Mr. Speaker, it includes a common-sense plan to cut bureaucracy and taxes so that we can bring it home. Mr. Speaker, when I came into question period today, I didn't think it'd be an inf- I'd be hearing an infomercial for how great Pierre Pauly has social media skills. Sorry, the leader. Oh, well, 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 back up. I mean, the Honourable Prime, Prime Minister knows he's not supposed to use the, the names of members of Parliament. The Honourable, Right Honourable Prime Minister. Thank you. Mr. 
Mr. Speaker. I apologize. I didn't think Canadians were going to be hearing an infomercial for uh, the Leader of the Opposition's YouTube page. The reality, Mr. Speaker, is Canadians deserve a government focused on delivering housing for them. That is exactly what we are doing with historic deals with, pro with cities uh, right across the country, with measures to build more housing quickly. We are concretely solving that while he's uh, talking to himself online.